Hi guys and thanks for watching again. Today I'm going to add two 10 watt LEDs to my solder film extractor. And I'm doing this because uh, this thing blocks quite a bit of light on my desk. And now is a good time uh, because I really want to finish my LED cube. And since the cube involves quite some soldering, I thought it might be a good idea to have the fume extractor running. I'm pretty sure that the fan inside this thing runs on 240 volts, so I bought this 12 volt power supply, um, which I'm going to try to put inside of this case. Not quite sure if that will work, but I'll have to go. And this power supply. It is capable of putting out more than 2 amps, more than 2000 milliamps. So that should be enough for these two 10 watt LEDs. Um, I've already removed the two triangular screws, so let's open this. Let's open it, yep. <laughs> There we go. There we go. Fuck. Oh, oh, that was that was some Oh, oh damn. Holy shit. That was some capacitor not fully discharged, and oh, that was not nice. Discharge time. Mother. Oh, well, I believe it's discharged now. This one then. Oh, what did I touch? It touched the, touched the side. Hmm. I did, did the, I've, I've tried touching these and that's, that's not a problem. Well, <coughs> anyway, it's not uh, meant for opening, so <laughs> it's all, I'll blame myself. Uh, but uh, other than uh, lacking a discharge resistor, <laughs> uh, it's, qu it's quite some good separation. Uh, between the high voltage side and the low voltage side, so that's that's good. Let's try discharging this. Ah, there we go. <laughs> this. So now it's discharged. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. So other than then. Well, maybe I'll put a. No, not sure if I can just put the discharge resistor on there, but. Um, so, yeah, that just could have hold a charge of probably 400 volts. And this is rated 400 volts, of course. Yeah, probably 380 volts. Or so. so, yeah, uh, that's probably what I felt. It's DC, so it was not as bad as, uh, as AC. And my hands are not fully dry because it's it's a little warm in here so that's what i felt um yeah <laughs> i've drawn two uh squares over on, on this thing i'm going to dremel these these holes out and i'm going to put these heat sinks over there because these need absolutely need heat sinks there's some adhesive tape uh on this side um, and I'm not pretty sure if that's good tape uh, to use on there but I'll, I'll give it a go anyway I'm um, not sure if this this yeah this this sticky stuff uh, is, is capable of, of dissipating the heat for this LED fast enough but we'll see um, so I've, uh, this this hole of course is too small for this entire heatsink so that, that gives the opportunity for this heatsink to sit on this and on that side so and it's and since it's uh, adhesive it, it will stick on there better than uh, only one uh, piece <laughs> so uh, and then the LED can just fit through the entire hole um, 
So, yeah, I'm going to dremel that out. I'm going to do that outside of the camera because it will be um, boring and noisy and I'll be back. Um, when I'm done, I'm also going to put in this switch. It has a nice uh, LED. I'm try trying to run the LED also. Um, not sure where to put it because I'm, if I'm putting it here, it blocks uh, this, this, this rig, oh, metal thing from opening. So I need to find this place. Maybe I can put it next to this one um, so I can switch the LEDs on and off. Um, yeah, I'll be back in a moment. So I <coughs> skipped to the point where my uh, project is finished <coughs> and I did that uh, because uh, you know, me doing all the stuff would be very boring so I decided to make a time-lapse video of it and put it at the end of the video so when I'm done you can watch the time-lapse of me bu building this entire uh, thing if you want to. But what I did um, is fairly simple. I've put the 12 volt power supply uh, at the bottom. I used uh, double sided uh, ad adhesive tape on and then just added some uh, he heat, uh, warm glue uh, to it to just to make it a little bit more solid and to cover the, the uh, wires over there. And just added a few tie wraps to make a strain relief over there and over there. And I made sure that this this thing can just can move, uh, so I, I left this ferrite uh, on the cable and drilled the hole so the 12 volt cable goes in there. The 12 volt cable uh, goes in next to the fan inside this unit, and uh, then I made a, a fairly stupid beginner's mistake because. When the LEDs are turned off, this LED of this switch is still lighting. So um, yeah, <laughs> uh, I should, of course I should have put the, uh, the, the the connection to the uh, LED after the switch, but I did it before. So uh, and <laughs> I'm gonna leave it like this because I don't want to uh, crack it open anymore. Um, well, so uh, I, I connected the LED uh, LEDs and the, and the LED of the switch. And the switch, of course, runs a three-fold LED, and this is a very, it's not, it's not a very bright LED, so it's just a 10. Uh, I ran it at 10 milliamps, so I decided to put a 900 ohm resistor in between, and then I've just sticked on the heat sinks and connected the LEDs. Very simple, but very effective, and I've already tested it a little bit, and so far. I like the results very much. Look at this. Look, look at all the light at my desk. And I, of course, I can still turn the unit on and off. And of course, I can switch the lights on and off. And this, I, I can even use it as a work light right now. So I'm very, very happy with the results. Um, the LEDs get a little hot, of course, but there, there are the, therefore are the uh, heat sinks. And these do get, get hot, so the tape, uh, the, the, the adhesive, uh, it's probably conducting the heat very well. Uh, not 100% sure, of course, but as far as I know, I, I, can, I, can feel, I can feel them heating up already. So it's doing its job at least. Don't know how good it does that, but so let's see. The LED is 63 degrees Celsius. And the other one should probably be almost the same. 64, 65, yeah. So, let's see. That, that should be correct. They're pretty warm. So, oh, these are getting warm too. So, uh, I'm still uh, doubting to if, if, I, if I need to actively cool these. <laughs> these are getting pretty warm. <laughs> can I see if I can get it in camera. 33. You see them rising. So yeah, <laughs> these get hot too. And this one seems a little bit cooler. Not to my hand. It's actually uh, it's probably the same. 
28 degrees. 36. Well, if it stays at this temperature, I'm happy. But if it will, if it rises a little bit more, then I probably should actively cool these heat sinks with with fans. Of course, I've got a lot of these in stock, so that would be no problem. But that involves more soldering. Not that much because these are 12 volt fans and these are 12 volt LEDs, so that would be no problem. But yeah, <laughs> I don't want to mess with it anymore because. I like it uh, so far and it's quiet and yeah so uh, not gonna try to uh, what it does need the heat so right now so I'll leave it for now um, yeah and I'm gonna add that at the time-lapse right now so thanks for watching